10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video, we are going to be silo launching a Saturn V rocket. It's going to be pretty cool. You could probably figure that out by looking at the title and thumbnail and stuff, but hey, maybe I need to tell you again because you didn't look at that. Although, why would you look at it without clicking on that? I'm talking about random crap. So, first thing we're doing in today's video, we are going to be doing a build a time lapse. Uh, of the you know the construction of our silo and our launch mechanism it's actually pretty interesting which i'll start talking about in just a second but the first thing we're going to be doing is going to be making some hinges of putting some hinges on the uh on the fins there just so we can fold them in during the uh, the silo launchy portion of the flight you know the first like five seconds of the you know the flight the overall flight um just be so we can fit in the silo because I don't want to make my silo like giant and huge just so I could fit those fins. In. So we're just gonna be folding them up, uh, and then once it clears the silo and lights the engines, then the fins will be will be retracted. So uh, I actually got the inspiration for this video uh, from someone on my Discord. I know uh, fairly well his name is the KSP Maniac, and he has a YouTube channel. One of his videos, he just said, "Hey, I'm gonna make a silo launch drop," and it did fairly well. It's his most popular video, like 10,000 views. So pretty cool. So I said, "Hey." How could I one-up him? Because I am the ultimate one-upper. So I'm like, you, launch, you silo launched like a normal small little rocket. I silo launched Saturn V epic huge rocket. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, uh, <laughs> for his video, he actually had a pretty unique uh, mechanism. So if you don't know how, how a silo launch works, what it basically is is, is a uh, you, you put a rocket in a silo and then there's like some sort of ejection mechanism kind of like eject the rocket out of the silo and then it, it launches it lights its engine and then goes i mean that's that's kind of the that's well that's the gimmick that we're going with for the silo um so yeah uh how did he do it so for his his video he put a, a engine facing upside down and it, like uh, used the exhaust of the engine to propel the rocket out now that works on a small rocket that 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 does not work on a big rocket i mean in theory it kind of does maybe but like you need like a hundred two hundred engines to do it and it, it would be a mess you know it would be an absolute mess you it would yeah it would be a mess so and you'd, you'd end up melting it, it would yeah point is it would be a mess you might be able to get it to work but you might not so but i i decided to go for a much more elegant solution i just put a little rocket on the bottom of, <laughs> that's not much more elegant um so yeah i'm just making the top by the way now if you're if you're, if you're interested um, you know, the silo cover thing, but uh, the, way, the way we're launching, the way we're launching it, um, is I have a tiny little rocket stage. It's like, a, like it burns for like two seconds. It's basically like an SR, but it's not. But I have some. It's a bunch of engines, a bunch of vectors on it. What it does is it will propel me out of the silo, and it'll burn for like a second or two. And then what it does is when it's done burning, it will uh, separate and have some uh, SRVs mounted upside down on it. So what it does is it will uh, separate, and then it will fire its SRV. So the uh, the launch stage stays inside of the silo the uh, the entire time and never actually leaves the silo. But the uh, the Saturn V ends up getting propelled out of the of the silo and actually the the engine uh, actually does create a little bit of a push as uh, you will see right now because we are now at the end of the build time lapse and are at the launch portion of the video as the top opening hatch thingy opens really epic that you saw in the intro and there you go it is now opened up and you can see in there the big old giant saturn 5 rocket getting ready for its epic launch thing here all right guys we're getting close so like i said what we do is we just uh, gonna light up that stage initially as sas comes on throttle goes up and go there it goes the thing is going up 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 and out cut srb's backwards it is out and engines on and we can extend the fins and we are now off to the races guys all right so that was our that was our cycle launch uh so don't go anywhere your viewer attention right uh, actually to be honest we actually have, we have a really cool mod mission we're gonna be doing uh, I, I think it's really cool to turn out really cool. We do some really weird, wacky stuff coming up here in a few minutes, so you'll you'll see. I don't want to spoil or anything, but you know, if you want to stay for a cool mission, <coughs> feel free. If you also want to smash the subscribe button, you could also do that in the comment section and the like buttons. And I have a Discord that I plug way too much, but it's cool. I like my Discord. We have a Minecraft server now. That's pretty cool. Um, maybe maybe we'll get like a. Maybe we'll get more Minecraft servers. I don't know. Maybe you just have to join. Just kidding. Um, well, I mean, you know. Also become a member. All these fun stuff you can do. All these plugs. And I'm... Uh, no more plugs. Plugs lame. Okay, so. Uh, we're now uh, through 60 kilometers. Uh, now, uh, this first part of the Mun mission may actually appear to be a normal Mun mission. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm really into this viewer retention thing, aren't I? Um, 
point is, we're gonna do them on mission with a twist. So, just let you stay tuned, maybe. So, uh, uh, we are now, uh, you know, we're past 70 kilometers, and I completely underestimated uh, or overestimated how much the thrust this uh, upper stage has because it just does not get anywhere. So, I have this, I've sped the footage way up uh, during this like upper stage burn because then we have to pitch it up a lot so we don't like fall back to curving. But yeah, this thing is slow. I always forget how, how little TWR this stage has, but. Uh, Hey, we're in space and we're gonna get indoor, but using uh, the nice long burn without having to you know, like set your app laps and then glide on up and then circular. Ride. Ah, lame. We just do it all in one one epic burn, epic. So uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, just getting ourselves to circularize the last few hundred meters a second before we can go ahead and start planning our trajectory on out to Zimon and what seems like a normal Apollo mission. I am doing way too much teasing. Um, <laughs> way too much. So there it is. There is the main engine or the third engine cutoff. So there you go, starting to plan our trajectory on out to the MUN, which that is totally the MUN, and we can pop the fairing open, uh, and we can get ready to get on our way. So we're gonna do our uh, ejection burn there to get on to a translunar in ejection, throttling up the engine, and nice quick little burn. Well, it's sped up, it's actually quite a long burn, but uh, there it goes, all right. And now we can do the famous Apollo reorientation thingy where we do that thing, we flip it around, and then reorient ourselves uh, to be uh, to be in the right orientation. Uh, so yeah, uh, fun fact: I'm filming this video at 2:30 in the morning, and I and I have to wake up at 7 uh, 37, 7:45 at the latest tomorrow. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is probably not a wise move. <laughs> uh, yeah, my plan did not go to plan on this, this, this video. And neither did this command uh, stage thingy, the command module. It, for whatever reason, did not like to drain fuel out of my main fuel tanks for just whatever reason. So I, I had like do this weird system where I was like draining fuel out of my main fuel tanks into that weird fuel tank that it liked, and then just doing that. But hey, what is this? That is not the Mon, that is Minmus. Oh no, it appears we have gone to the wrong destination. Oh my gosh, what is this? Rescue vessel or the Blunderbirds here? Is this a starship? What? Allow me allow me to explain the weirdness that is going on. Yes, this is the gimmick of today's video. So, in our fictional storyline here, storylines, am I right? Uh, these Kerbals have accidentally, you know, in true Kerbal style, accidentally uh, going on their Apollo mission, and they accidentally went to Minmus instead of the Mun, and oh no, they've realized this in Minmus orbit, so what are we going to do about this? They, uh, Kerbals have sent a lunar starship, which is going to go rescue the Kerbals and bring them to the Mun so they can actually do their mission. Now, unfortunately, the lunar starship, uh, payload bay, only has enough for, uh, only enough capacity for, uh, the command module. Um, it is a lunar lander, so we are actually going to use the starship as our lander, but the starship, the, the lunar starship, actually cannot return to Kerbin, uh, you know, or Earth in, you know, real life. So, uh, we're going to use the command module to get ourselves back to Kerbin once we're in low... It's a, it's a mess, it's, it's, but it's fun, hey. I just, I kind of want to take this opportunity to do a lot of messing around with my lunar starship, and trust me, we do a lot of messing We do like a weird payload, you'll see. I don't know, I'm, I'm a lot of you'll see in this video, but I don't want to really spoil it because it's some pretty wacky stuff. Um, so we have our lunar starship, and we're going to try and go out to the Mun and get take the Kerbals on their proper mission. They are going to have to leave the lander, though, and I don't know why I put a crew in the lander. Uh, that was kind of a dump. I put one crew. I guess that Kerbal stuck there forever. I mean, there is fuel in the lander. You can go back, but... There we go. Just going to go and do in the burns. Uh, and, uh, yeah, get into a, get into a translunar injection. Our staging, if you look on the left side, is just completely screwed up. This happened, this happens to me on occasion with the starship. This starship, by the way, I made ages ago, this lunar starship. Like, I feel like, in the process of my YouTube channel, like, I've done a lot of recreations. That's probably, like, the main thing I do on this channel. I've gotten a lot better at recreation. Like, this is one of the first recreations I did. It was a lunar starship, but that's, that's kind of a disaster. I kind of, half the reason I brought it out for this video is just like, hey, how have I improved? Have I improved? I hope I've improved with this, it's kind of a mess, but it's kind of fun to mess around with some of my old creations and the, the fairing opening, the payload bay opening is an absolute mess. Um, you know, if you haven't seen it, you'll see it open a few more times, but here we are coming into the mun, and here's where I make my big first oopsie, I start to realize it right here, oopsie, 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 uh, I forgot that the lunar starship is supposed to land, you know, on the, uh, on those radially mounted engines so it doesn't kick out a bunch of dust, so probably not the best idea that I was hovering like two meters over the ground for like a solid ten seconds while I tried to reorient myself. So there we go, now we're back in business, yeah. <laughs> I, I was honestly just so done at this point, I was... <laughs> you could probably tell like 
there were a few Kraken attacks, like the stage window thing being all broken, and I, I, this video was taking way longer than I thought it would, so I, I was just done at this point, so I'm like, hey, whatever happens, happens, you know, there's probably, most people have probably clicked away because, you know, you're here for the silo launch and now you're getting weird starship crap, but hey, you can't go wrong, it's weird starship crap, can't go wrong with it. I don't know. For this video, I was like, hey, I mean, I need something with a payload capacity, right? Um, and Starship, you know, so. And now, we are going to go back in the air. But why are we going back in the air, you may ask? Because I realize I need to EVA my Kerbal and plant the flag. But our command module is mounted upside down, so the Kerbal can't actually get out. So, we need to do a, a hop, basically. Like a five and a half kilometer hop. This is the stupid thing. This is this is the peak stupidity. So we are going to do a, a here's the, the a, a payload reorientation maneuver. So what I do is I, I, I fly it up um, to get around five and a half kilometers around, get the payload out, rotate the payload around, put it back in to the <laughs> into the payload fairing, and then just land the starship and act like nothing ever happened. This is a totally this is a very Kerbal maneuver to do. I. <laughs> Someone should do this in real life. <laughs> and then you have to hopefully quickly get it back in before we crash. So there we go, back into the payload bay. All right, nice and good. And now I don't have enough TWR. So now we're going to have to just turn on some vectors. Um, good thing I had those. I don't think the real Lunar Star should even have Seal of Legends. It might. I don't know. We don't know if it, you know. Um, but here we are. We're, we're coming in here. Definitely going to be kicking up all the dust. But uh, yeah, well, we're here. We made it. Weird payload, payload reorientation maneuver has been... Completed. All right, so now it's time to plant the flag, and then we can actually, this mission can become a little bit more normal as we, okay, I say normal, but there's like a giant fairing opened up in our starship, and this isn't, the normal sea levels are not very high. This is what happens when I film videos this late, like, I don't know, I guess the silver lining is these commentaries and videos are just infinitely more stupid when I film them at, like, I don't know, fatigue, or like, get tired, tiredness is a drug, guys. It's a drug. Um, <laughs> it is. So here we go. Last weird, no, second to last weird fairing closing thing. And then we can go back into the air. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into a low lunar orbit. And then we are going to uh, we are going to uh, open up the payload bay for the final time. And the command module is going to basically do what it normally does and fly back to uh, fly back to the Kerbin. So that is basically what our plan is going to be for the rest, last few minutes of this video. While I talk about more random crap, maybe I should just talk about, like I told you what's happening in the video. You guys have seen this kind of crap a million times. Um, there's like return stuff with the ma command module. I've done so many Apollo missions. I don't know, I could talk about random crap. What should I talk about, guys? I don't know. Any of you guys know those she's, she, I can't even say the sea shanties? You know that stuff that's been going around on the tickety talks? You know, that's kind of interesting. I I, play, I pulled up a uh, playlist on Spotify of the sea shanties to see, hey, what's what's going on here? Anything interesting? I'm like, like, eh, I'm like I'm like 50 percent interested. Like I, I think the the the, the, the genre is pretty good, but none of these songs have been very good. So I don't know. That's my opinion on sea shanties. If anyone cared, I'm like, yeah, they're pretty good. If I could just get some good songs, I've heard like one good one. So I'm like, I don't know. Do I want to keep listening to these? But these playlists these playlists have been kind of trash. But the kind of the genre seems kind of good. So. I, I don't know. What do we think about sea shanties, guys? Or, you know, very relevant question. I don't know. Elon Musk says he likes sea shanties. Maybe, I don't know. He's rich. I want to be rich. There we go. Maybe I should just start liking them from now on. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, that's that's the end of that. And that's going to bring us to the end of today's video with a nice cool shot of the sunset and a nice cool picture of all my channel members to say thank you to all you guys. Uh, for being members, but that is going to be the end of today's video, so I'd like to thank you for watching, we'll see you next time, please rate or comment to this video, once again, thank you for watching, we'll see you next time, and bye!